Okay, so YouTube will no longer allow my tiny channel to do live streaming from my mobile device, but I did want to do an unboxing for you of the new <clears throat> Alexander Couture collection by Renee of Paris. Renee of Paris, I know that's backwards. Um, I'm holding this on my phone because I thought I was going to do a YouTube live, but now I'm not allowed to. Um, I just whacked on some makeup. That's my cute little makeup bag. Um, actually, it holds my makeup brushes. Anyhow, let me adjust this and hopefully y'all will be able to see me okay without... Mm, I think that needs to be a little bit higher. I don't think it'll go higher. How's that? What if I sit back? Okay, anyways. So, again, I plan on doing a live video, but uh, YouTube has updated their requirements. So, I'm going to unbox Slightly Smushed Julie and Creamy Toffee R for you. Um, this is what the box looks like. It looks a bit backwards. It is a beautiful royal blue. Um, it says the Alexander Couture Collection by Renee of Paris. It's kind of like a mustard yellow font or mustard yellow writing. Nothing on the back. That is the tag. Um, as you can see, I've just whacked makeup on to do this. And I haven't even opened the box yet. So that's what the box looks like. You're going to see this for the first time just like I do. Let's see, what does it say? Manufactured by Adirond's Hair Goods, Chatsworth, California, Julie, model 1015 in Creamy Toffee R. Got the fancy paper. And Creamy Toffee R is a gorgeous, gorgeous color. So here's the net. This already reminds me of what my Scarlet by Jean Renault looked like out of the box. It had curls that looked very similar to this. And actually, um, I have Scarlet by Jean Renault in three colors. Um, shaded Praline, Shaded Mocha, and I cannot remember, Shaded Sun, I think. So this looks very much like shaded praline to me. Um, this is a lace front. This is the first one I've had. Um, Renee of Paris has a newer tag. Um, so it's got a white tag with a different font, Renee of Paris. Um, so Julie and Creamy Toffee are, it's all gonna look backwards. It says original design. So this is original to this collection. Um, which I think is an interesting comment to make, but anyhow, so here is the single mono. Sorry, people are texting me. Here's the single mono. Um, it is a left-handed part. There are the curls. It's a nice little, um, single mono part there with a lace front. And then the usual, uh, pull straps and no extended nape. So I'm going to do the thing I've done in front of you a million times before, which is look really goofy by just literally whacking it on my head. So here we go. Just kind of get any hairs that are trapped underneath out of the way. And that is what Julie is looking like. Um, it's really cute. Like, I don't really suit, I don't think I really suit curly styles personally. Um, but this one is a fun one to try for sure. This is one that I, you know, I can't help but be really kind of taken in by the photos. It does have a lot of permatees at the nape here. Like, it feels like a lot of permatees. Um, I'm not going to disrupt the curls because this is not something that, um, personally would suit me, but I think using the right product and breaking up these curls with your fingers would be a great idea for those who suit curly styles. And I know there's a lot of you out there. Um, I do like that it has left to right part because that's how I would normally part my hair. Um, the lace front is kind of, I would, if it were me, I would probably redirect this just a little bit with a, just a gentle amount of heat. These are not heat defiant, but there's tips and tricks 
feel free to follow me on Instagram. I post a lot of tips and tricks there because I don't frequently have the energy to sit down, film, and edit a YouTube video. Um, but there are some things that you could do to kind of push that back a little. The lace front, to me, is kind of... Uh, it's nice, but it's not like the be-all, end-all, unless you really do plan on clipping it back. But to me, um, it does look quite thick. This reminds me so much of Scarlet right out of the box in Shaded Praline. It reminds me so much of that. Anyhow, um, I'm going to put some lipstick on and I will take some photos for Instagram. So if you want to see how this looks outside in afternoon lighting, um, in the outdoors with some the rest of my makeup on, I've got my brows and lashes on, or I don't wear fake lashes. These are my lashes. But I have my brows on and I need to get some lipstick and all that on. But I just wanted to show you a really quick unboxing of Julie in Creamy Toffee R by the new, almost forgotten, the new Alexander Couture collection. It is a gorgeous wig. I, I do have to say that. Um, there are a lot of you who suit, suit curls really well. So stay tuned to my Instagram, which is Cat's Tracks. Cat's Tracks. Cat's Tracks UK? <laughs> I'll link it down below. Um, go over to my Instagram to see Instagram stories and pictures of Julie in natural lighting. I'm in front of a light right now, but you can see the sun is kind of going down. So you can see the natural light reflecting on the left side here. Um, you know, I do feel a lot of permatease in the cap of this. There's a lot of permatease throughout the entire wig, um, which to me is kind of a plus point. I know for some of you, you don't like permatease, but I'm going to throw this in here as an aside. I like the feel of the permatease at the nape. I like it here in the body and just a little bit starting right about here. Um, and then it kind of avoids the part. And the reason why is because the Rene of Paris part monos. So like the, um, basically the Rene of Paris high fashion part monos are really flat and don't have permatease and they shed quite a lot and they go flat quite a lot. I don't think that's going to happen with this. Um, I think this is at a higher price point and I think this is going to hold up really nicely. Also, I have a petite head and I have not adjusted um, the straps at all and I feel like this fits perfectly. So if you have a larger head, you're probably going to want to do your best to wear this a lot and to get, get it stretch a bit or put it on a wig head for a couple days. Um, to let it stretch out a little bit because again I'm a petite um, and maybe I if I can remember I'll put my measurements down below I'm a petite and I feel like this is pretty snug so anyhow that's it this has been Julie um, by Renee of Paris and Alexander Couture collection this will look really cute on those of you who have curl who like curls who are naturally curly who suit curls really well who have the face shape for it and, um, you know, I feel like if you put some product in this, raked it out a little bit, or picked apart the curls very carefully, it would be super adorable. This is really cute. And I do, and I, I personally like the permatease. I like, I feel like that's going to disguise the wefting. I feel like that's going to just give it overall better shape. That's my personal opinion. So anyways, stay tuned to my Instagram for photos. And that's it. I recorded this straight to YouTube. <laughs> so there's no intro. There's no outro. There's no great bells and whistles. I'm just chucking this together just really quick for you. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Be good to yourself and others. Bye-bye.